Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Sans here. Got the Tick Tick Boom Challenge uh, tips for you. So it was pretty, um, pretty challenging actually to to complete this, and um, and I was actually able to kind of find a winning combination. So it was it was using concussion grenades, as you see here, and 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 what I'm showing right here in the very beginning are just some some outtakes and some educational views of what's going on. Um, the concussions, as you see right here, is like, bam, got him. He's stunned. Look how slow he is. Hit him again with concussion, and then I'm getting killed by his teammates. So um, it was kind of back and forth like that for a lot of the games where I was trying to achieve it. Um, this is kind of like that first one where, where it's a situation that you hope for, where someone's just kind of standing there and they don't realize. Uh, with a concussion grenade, though, it kind of really illustrates this point right here. Rush in here, able to, to take the guy out um, with a sticky, and uh, of course he's unable to move. Um, one other thing that, that you'll notice is that in this one, you know, got the tack insert, uh, was able to, to get the stick, but it's probably not uh, probably not what you're looking for in the way of, of accomplishing it there within, uh, you know, five sticks to the testicles in a round, um, as it were. But the concussion grenades definitely proved to be effective. You'll notice with this guy, I mean, what's going to happen is that most people, when, once they get, you know, concussed like that, they just end up, you know, end up uh, lying down. So this is the actual gameplay of where uh, I ended up completing the challenge, and this uh, this challenge I would say took me um, the better part of a day uh, to really to really focus on it and 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 find that winning combination. So let's talk about class setup real quick. So you know for my for my perk one, I'm running ghost and lightweight, and of course if you don't have ghost unlocked, then go ahead and just rock that lightweight, and you'll and you'll you'll probably do okay, um, although it may take you a little bit longer. And uh, perk two, fast hands. You got to have fast hands in this for that for that quick release. Otherwise, you're just gonna get um, you're gonna get frustrated because folks will, will end up shooting you, even though you may have uh, have the drop on them a little bit. Perk three in here, running scavenger. Of course, that's gonna be useful so that you can replenish your semtex concussion grenades um, if uh, if necessary. Uh, right there is a, is a perfect example of why you use fast hands. Um, so dexterity as well, um, just because I think that, that being fast in this is kind of you know what's going to really allow you to, to win the game. So allow you to climb faster and everything else. And and that was weird to me right there. Like I stuck the dude, but, but then he ends up getting ouched instead. Um, but still gives you the medal, so it still counts. And of course, in your uh, tacticals, you're going to want to make sure that you use um, concussion grenades. And that's like the perfect situation right there that you that you wish and you hope for is where someone is sitting there messing around with the kill streak and you're able just to roll up on him and and get that um, and and get that kill or get that stick and then right here end up man run, ran out of ammo that was that was bad play on on my part uh, trying trying to steal that crate and ended up getting getting taken out so that's pretty much how it works with uh, with the um, with your classes. Now, I tried this in multiple game modes. Um, I tried it in uh, in hardcore. Tried you know demolition. I tried, of course, domination as 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 seen here, team deathmatch, etc. Um, key point to remember again, kind of like some of the other challenges, is that you need to complete the challenge within one round. So you have to get five stick medals uh, within one round of domination, or else within you know one round of capture the flag or whatever it may be. Uh, capture the flag actually and proved to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, I thought it might be easier because, you know, the, the matches run a little bit longer. Um, so, you know, for some of you out there that are watching this, that may be the best route for you to go is, is to go ahead and, and just hit capture the flag. Uh, but for me, you know, domination ended up being the winning combination. Hardcore was was impossible. And then you're going to have stuff like this that's just like, like what? Like, like that was like point blank range. Crosshairs were on, dude, and then end up throwing over his shoulder somehow. Um, but you know, <laughs> that's, that's how it is sometimes. Uh, so getting back to hardcore though, yeah, I tried it on hardcore and I gotta be honest with you, the, that lack of crosshairs, definitely difficult. Um, one reason that the domination was a little bit more appealing to me was just that I was hoping that, you know, folks were going to kind of gather around a certain point. So, you know, if they're all trying to capture B, say, for example, then I could just kind of random nade them in. And uh, as often as I try to kind of random nade folks or random stick folks in this, it was uh, it didn't happen that that often. Um, 
I, I would say that probably out of all the times that I really tried, it, it happened maybe once. Uh, one, or at least one time that, that I can really recall where I was kind of, you know, like, whoa, okay, yeah, actually, actually hit somebody with that. So, uh, so the big, the big key here is, is yeah, you're definitely going to need to really be targeting people and, and not going, you know, the random nade route. Um, along with this, though, I was able to actually unlock a, a couple of calling cards, so, you know, that sticking, you know, calling card. There's another one where I think you have to kill 150 folks with Semtex, and, and I'm not sure if it's, uh, or I'm sorry, I, it's way more than 100, I think it's 500 folks with Semtex, and I'm not sure if it's direct sticks or if it's, um, or if it's just with Semtex in general. Uh, so I'm well on my way to, to completing that challenge and, 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 and getting that calling card. And, uh, and at this point, this is where I actually end up uh, completing the challenge. So end up concussing the guy and then uh, and then get the stick. So uh, tick tick boom is complete. And uh, and you know those are those are some of the tips that I have for you guys. So you know again, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I hope that this uh, that this helps out. And please subscribe to the channel and leave comments and like the video. Hey, thanks for watching, you guys.